Maverick's riveting case analysis of rising from the ashes. Sony's inspiring journey of resilience and reinvention. Once upon a time, in the bustling streets of Japan, a small and humble electronic store named Tokyo Sushin Kogyo emerged. Founded by the visionary duo Masaru Abuka and Akio Morita in 1946, this store was destined to evolve into one of the world's most successful and innovative multinational conglomerates, known today as the Sony Corporation. The early days of the company were fueled by a passion for technology and an unwavering commitment to innovation. Abuka and Morita had a singular goal in mind, create cutting-edge products that would leave an indelible mark on the world. Their journey began with the manufacture of telecommunications equipment, but soon they realized that true success lay in diversifying their product offerings. In 1955, Sony revolutionized the electronics industry with the creation of a compact, portable transistor radio called the TR-55. The radio's unprecedented success thrust Sony into the international limelight and laid the foundation for their aggressive growth strategy. Over the years, Sony continued to break barriers, introducing pioneering products that changed the way people lived and interacted with technology. One of their most iconic inventions was the Walkman, a portable cassette player that allowed users to listen to music on the go. Launched in 1979, the Walkman quickly became a cultural phenomenon and a symbol of Sony's innovation. However, not all of Sony's groundbreaking endeavors were successful. One notable example was their introduction of the beta tape format in the 1970s. While technologically superior to its rival, the VHS format, beta ultimately lost the format war due to its higher price and limited availability of pre-recorded content. This setback served as a valuable lesson for the company, highlighting the importance of balancing innovation with market demands. As Sony's empire grew, so did its commitment to a unique business approach that seamlessly blended creativity with technology. This strategy enabled them to consistently push the boundaries of innovation, while also catering to the needs and desires of their customers. However, the path to greatness was not without its challenges and setbacks. In the early 2000s, Sony's market dominance began to wane as formidable competitors like Apple and Samsung entered the market with their own innovative products. Sony's failure to adapt quickly to the digital age and the rise of the Internet led to a decline in their market share. The company's premium pricing strategy, which once set them apart from low-cost competitors like Samsung, began to backfire as consumers became more price-conscious and less brand-loyal. In addition, a series of strategic missteps tarnished their once sterling reputation for innovation. One such misstep was Sony's dogged insistence on proprietary formats like the Memory Stick and the Universal Media Disc UMD, which hindered compatibility with other devices and stymied the growth of their ecosystem. Furthermore, their unwavering focus on hardware blinded them to the importance of software and services, resulting in a fragmented user experience across their product line. In an attempt to reinvigorate the company and reclaim its place as a market leader, Sony embarked on a series of ambitious acquisitions, including those of Iowa, Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, and Ericsson's mobile phone division. However, these acquisitions did not yield the desired results and instead, exacerbated Sony's financial woes. Facing mounting losses and a bleak future, the company was forced to take drastic measures, 
including the sale of its iconic New York City headquarters in 2013. This marked a low point in Sony's storied history, but it also served as a catalyst for change and resilience. Recognizing the urgent need for transformation, Sony underwent a major restructuring in 2012. They streamlined their operations, refocused on core businesses, and divested non-core assets. This metamorphosis helped the company regain its footing and rekindle its commitment to innovation and user experience. One of the key factors contributing to Sony's resurgence was their strategic decision to collaborate with Google to create Android smartphones. This partnership allowed them to leverage the existing Android ecosystem and rapidly increase their market share. Furthermore, they bolstered their position in the gaming industry with the successful launch of the PlayStation 4, which swiftly became the best-selling console of its generation. Sony's PlayStation gaming platform played a pivotal role in reviving the company as one of the major driving forces in the industry. By focusing on a diverse range of games, exclusive titles, and a user-friendly interface, the PlayStation brand attracted millions of gamers worldwide. In 2020, Sony reported an impressive operating income of 342.2 billion yen, approximately $3.2 billion, for their gaming division, a testament to the platform's success and its role in the company's resurgence. As Sony clawed its way back from the brink, they also reimagined their approach to content creation, establishing a robust presence in the film and television industry. The company's successful foray into the entertainment world was marked by hits like the Spider-Man franchise and the critically acclaimed TV series, Breaking Bad. By combining their technological prowess with captivating storytelling, Sony was able to carve a niche for itself in the highly competitive world of entertainment. Sony's remarkable turnaround can also be attributed to its renewed emphasis on research and development, which led to breakthroughs in areas like robotics, virtual reality, and imaging technology. The launch of their groundbreaking mirrorless camera, the Alpha 7 series, redefined the world of photography and further showcased Sony's commitment to innovation. Throughout its resurgence, Sony displayed an unwavering focus on customer satisfaction, ensuring that its products and services met the highest standards. By embracing new business models, fostering a culture of innovation, and prioritizing customer needs, they were able to adapt to the rapidly changing market and continue to thrive. In recent years, Sony has been investing heavily in the development of environmentally sustainable products and practices, demonstrating their commitment to social responsibility. From energy-efficient televisions to the use of recycled materials in their packaging, the company has made significant strides in reducing its environmental footprint. The tale of Sony Corporation, a phoenix rising from the ashes, serves as an inspiring example of resilience, adaptability, and the power of innovation. In a world of fierce competition and constantly evolving technology, Sony's journey is a testament to the importance of learning from our mistakes, embracing change, and relentlessly pursuing our passions. Through their unyielding determination, Sony was able to weather the storm, overcome numerous setbacks, and ultimately reclaim its rightful place among the titans of the technology industry. The company's remarkable comeback story continues to captivate and inspire, reminding us all that even in the face of adversity, with the right mindset and dedication, success is always within reach. 
In conclusion, Sony's resilience in the face of challenges and its ability to adapt to changing market conditions have cemented its position as a leader in the technology industry. By focusing on innovation, customer satisfaction, and strategic partnerships, Sony has demonstrated that it is possible to bounce back from setbacks and continue to thrive in a competitive landscape. The story of Sony serves as an inspiration to all. Proving that with perseverance, adaptability, and a commitment to excellence, success is achievable.